product features. Holds even more CDs. 150 CDs in the CD library. Holds a series of up to 128 CD library. Safety and security. CDs cannot be removed when locked in the case. Quick search. Designed to let you find the CD you want quickly and easily. Saves more space. Can be located almost anywhere. Costs so little. If you love CDs, you will love the CD library. It's ideal for your needs. Installation and Operation Assembly and Use Easy Assembly can be put together in minutes. Can be used independently. This product can be used without a PC. Management Forms Fill out all the management forms with the name of each CD to be stored to make it easier to find them. Storing and Retrieving CDs To insert a CD in slot number 100, turn the knob until the number 100 is shown and press the knob in. Insert the CD and push the knob in again. The CD is now stored in the library. Now, in order to find CD number 120, you simply turn the knob to number 120 and push it in. Connecting to a PC. This product can be connected to a PC for even easier handling and access to your CDs. Use one USB cable to connect the PC and the CD library. Insert rectangle type A USB cable into the PC. If you are using more than one CD library, you have to use a USB hub to connect more CD libraries. Connect the other side of the USB cable, which is square type B, to the CD library. Search the CD drive for the setup.exe file. Double click on it to install the software and follow the instructions. To open the software, simply click the icon on the desktop. Add Edit. To do a quick search for a CD title, you have to build a database. Use the Add Edit function to add data or edit existing data. Search. There are four ways to find any CD. Search for a CD title by using the search function. Simply type a keyword 
and the software will find it. Double click on it and the CD library will find and pop this CD out automatically. Contents. You can store a CD's contents here. Press Get to memorize all the folders, subfolders, and files in the CD. You also can look up any files or folders here. Right click on the contents and select Complete List. There is a plus sign in the folder. Click on the plus sign and you can look up subfolders. Remarks. Here you can type in information about the CD. For example, you can type in the place you bought the CD, when you bought the CD, who borrowed this CD, etc. Search contents and remarks. You can use the search function to search for any words in the contents and remarks. This way, you can find CDs more efficiently. For example, if you would like to find a folder named Pinball, just go to the search function, select contents and type in the keyword Pinball and click search text. Then you can find the CD you want. If you would like to know which CD has been borrowed by John, go to Search and select Remarks and type in the keyword John. Click Search Text, then the CD will be found. Save the image of the CD label in the software by using a scanner. Then you can find the CD by looking at the image Also, you can draw a picture to represent the CD. Double-click on Preview, and you may save the hand-drawn picture by indicating the path. This function can be used in conjunction with Search, and the label or logo on each CD can be captured to form a catalog of labels for the library. This makes looking for a CD as easy as actually thumbing through the disks. Password. Since the CD library has a lock to protect CDs, you can also use a password to prevent strangers from looking at your database. Finding CDs is so quick, isn't it? The CD library can store all kinds of discs including music CDs, video CDs, DVDs, and CD-ROMs. No matter how many CDs you have, the CD library will take care of all of your needs.